Let's look at hybridization in benzene. Benzene C6H6, I've drawn it like this with this circle representing the alternating double bonds. Can you tell me if the carbons are sp, sp2, or sp3 hybridized? Think about that for a minute and make a selection. Let's look at possible explanations for each of the answers. A, carbon has to only sigma bond to hydrogen, so it has two centers and will sp hybridize. B, carbon bonds to two carbons and one hydrogen. Three orbitals are required, or sp2 hybridization. Or C, carbon bonds to three other atoms, so it should sp3 hybridize. Think about those three options and make a selection. We're talking about the hybridization of carbons in benzene. Now, we drew benzene schematically, but that's enough to determine the steric number of each carbon, and that's what you need to determine hybridization. Carbon in benzene has to accommodate three things, two other carbons and a hydrogen. So to accommodate three things with steric number three, I have to hybridize three atomic orbitals, an S and two Ps. That leads to sp2 hybridization, three equivalent orbitals that have a 120 degree bond angle. So when carbons in benzene bond, they can use these atomic orbitals to form molecular orbitals to the other carbons and to the hydrogen. All the carbons are equivalent, so these carbons here will also be sp2 hybridized. So you'll expect to form molecular orbitals from sp2 and sp2 atomic orbitals on each carbon. For the hydrogen, you might expect to have an sp2 hybrid orbital on the carbon, and an S orbital on the hydrogen. So the correct answer here, sp2 hybridization for the carbons in benzene.